Good morning, guys. Hope you're liking the content on Life's Muskar and please do show your love by sharing and subscribing to our content. Okay guys, so today we have a jam-packed session and so you know, can you please tell our viewers what our plan is? I sure can. So, uh, as you know uh, from the title of the uh, YouTube video, uh, it's about shawarma and friends. So we are definitely cooking shawarma and we are having friends over and uh, i'm inviting my bestie over yeah you remember we talked about prachi yes. in our earlier videos so the, to, tonight is just about prachi and good food okay yes. it's not just shawarma it's many other things that we are cooking and in like less than six seven minutes you'll be learning how to cook more than five authentic arabic dishes so stay tuned and we will let you know how we cook Arabic food. Yes, please stay tuned, guys. Salad pickle. Grab your favorite veggies, carrots, beets, onions. Cut them into shapes you like. 100 ml vinegar, uh, lukewarm water. Fill the jar up to the brim. Shake well. Leave it for three or four days for best results. Up, quick hummus if you got to make hummus you got to soak chickpeas overnight that means a lot of planning right so this is a hack my mom found and instead of using chickpeas if you are running short of time and you want to make a quick hummus all you need to do is use dried chickpeas okay uh, so in Hindi it's called chana dal boil these dried chickpeas add them to a mixie after it cools Add some garlic cloves, salt, lemon, olive oil, and stir them up. Repeat this process until you get a silky consistency. And voila, there you have a very creamy hummus. Next up is a garlic dip called thum. Thum in Arabic literally is garlic. It's a very pungent dip and goes very well with meats. Now, the authentic thum doesn't make use of egg whites. Uh, but here we have modified the recipe to quickly emulsify the dip. Else you take a long time to be able to get it to the consistency you want. Not much changes with the addition of the egg white. However, the potency of the dip does reduce. A very simple recipe. Grab some garlic cloves, sunflower oil, lemon and salt. Whisk the lemon, garlic and salt together. Bring it to a paste and then add some sunflower oil bit by bit. You want to do this frequently and then whisk it and then repeat the process until you reach emulsification. And that's pretty much this to making thum. And finally, chicken shawarma, the star of the night. I love all kinds of shawarma. Unfortunately, in India, you do not get good authentic shawarmas. There was a place in Bengaluru called Shawarma King. Unfortunately, they lost their way. Making shawarma at home is pretty easy, it doesn't take a lot of time. You marinate the chicken and then bake it in a convection microwave oven. That's there to it. So let's get into the recipe, shall we? Usually, we pick up the shawarma mix from supermarkets. It's readily available at least in those Malu grocery stores. Given the COVID situation, that wasn't available, so Remy took the task and made our own shawarma recipe. The ingredients for the mix is on the video. All you got to do is marinate the chicken with the shawarma mix, curd and salt and then place it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. After that you make a base for the skewer using half an onion and then stack the chicken pieces one after the other on the skewer. Ensure you preheat the oven to 180 to 200 degrees and once it's preheated you bake the chicken for around 20 to 30 minutes 
on a temperature of 200 degrees. After you bake the chicken, you got to then grill the chicken for a few minutes to get that lovely char around the shawarma, which is what gives its taste. So hopefully you guys try it. Try all of these recipes and let us know whether you liked it or not. Hello, welcome. Hello. Red carpet for you. Yeah, usually inauguration ke time mein red carpet hai. Hum exit caution kar rahe to. Please welcome. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. This is Prachi. Prachi, say hi. You're on Let's Muskan. And this is the jumping jack. He's Kanda Candy. And those two little darlings there, you know, let Muskan. And that's. Please introduce yourself. Hi, Muskan. Hello, I am now Muskan the Panchak. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hi. What's up? How are you all? Yeah, good. good. <laughs> Guys, smile. You're on Let's Muskan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mitchu is not here. Only we both be tired. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mia. How are you? Hi. <laughs> hey, she's the next celebrity guest on Let's Muskan. <laughs> I know. How are you? Hi. Good one. How are you? Hello. What's up, Ranju? Alright guys, this is what we have in the so-called dinner table today. Homemade shawarma by Chef Shamir and homemade pickles. Next up we have hummus made by none other than my gorgeous wife. Hello. And what else have you made? All right, thum is a garlic dip, and the we peace day resistance. Kashia. By none other than Prachi. Hi. Awesome, guys. Not just saying because we made it. Amazing, amazing, authentic peace here. Yeah. The shawarma mix, Remy made it herself because uh, because of COVID and all, we are not getting the ready-made mix. And thum and hummus, delicious. Pickle, I made it for the first time in my life and it's turned out to be a winner. Who oh got yeah, this is. Tachi, how is it? This is just fantastic. Oh my god. Hummus, I, I know that he is the best. Who is outstanding. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Pickle and Sorry, 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 the no, Pika Bear. Pika Bear, right? Candy Bear. What about hummus? Mm. I like the hummus. Mm. Hi. Mm. What, what did you like? Candy Bear, what are you eating, Candy Bear? Yeah. What did you like? Chicken. Chicken. Pizza. Okay. Hummus. Hmm. I think maybe a year or two years back, mm. Prachi had made focaccia. Mm. Unbelievable consistency. Yeah? Yes. Exactly the same. Mm. And I think this is the world's best focaccia. Oh Even five star hotels. I agree. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not just the saying best. it's to flatter Prachi, but mm. I just love this focaccia. It's really good. Oh yes, I totally agree. Hi. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Life is a Journey. Do like, share, share and subscribe. And subscribe.